Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a peek into your partner, present or future. Um, this will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It won't resonate with every Aquarius, so feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. I'm going to be looking at what this person's thinking, how they view you, how they view the connection, what's blocking or challenging the connection, and what possible outcome there can be. I'm also going to be clarifying all of these with a different deck. Messages for Aquarius, please, Spirit, regarding their present or future partner. Messages for Aquarius and their future partner, please. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, subscribed, or commented. I've read all of your comments and I love hearing from you. So thank you for your support. Consider subscribing if you like what I do. And I think we're almost ready, Spirit, please. Messages for Aquarius and their person, present or future. Okay. OMG, I haven't even started. <laughs> Cards have been flying out of my hands today, so bear with me. Messages for Aquarius, please. And their person. What's their person thinking? Sorry, what's their person? Oh my God. Okay. Wow. All right, so I have two of cups, Empress, Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I have Four of Wands, the Lovers, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. I cannot make this up. You are watching it happen, right? This person clearly has one thing on their brain and that is this connection, you, the passion that they feel for you, the attraction, the chemistry, like you're all they think about is what I'm getting here. With the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands, I'm getting either some of you could be getting engaged. Just split the deck. I got Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Some of you could be moving in with each other. Others of you, it's new love for sure. I'm just going to shuffle a little bit because I just felt like I had to. Okay, let's keep this moving. How does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? How do they view Aquarius? How do they see them? Okay. Knight of Pentacles. So they see you as someone that they want to make an offer to. Now this is an offer that has taken time. Knight of Wands another the deck. I feel like this person wants to come in hot, but they have more of a stable, level-headed they're not they're not someone that does things without thinking is what I'm trying to say there how do they view or feel this about this connection how do they feel about this connection with Aquarius how do they feel about this connection eight of swords why the eight of swords seven of swords okay a lot of thinking here um, Possibly overthinking with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this person, I'm just getting here. Almost like they haven't communicated how they feel with the Seven of Swords. They've been watching you. They've been thinking a little too much about this is what I'm getting here. They've been feeling a little bit stuck um, in their head about how to go about making this offer with the Knight of Pentacles. I am going to clarify with a different deck, so we'll wait for that. I have Temperance under the deck, so this could be um, Sagittarius, or someone with Sagittarius in their chart. But more I'm thinking they're waiting for the right time. I feel like 
they see you as someone with the nine of pentacles here someone that's stable someone that has it all and so they're waiting to make an offer that you can't re refuse essentially what's blocking this connect connection or what are the challenges to this connection between aquarius and this person what are the challenges to this connection what's blocking this connection with aquarius and their person the hangman okay so hmm i feel like the challenge here is that someone's not communicating someone's keeping to themselves how they feel or just waiting again with the suspension here they're like no movement with a fortune at the bottom of the deck so this divine could be stepping in here to make things right or get things moving here move these down a little bit under there i have the five of cups i feel like someone's really in their head about this i feel like they're they might be fearing rejection or that it won't work out whatever they have planned here with the seven of swords what's that whoa okay hold on What's the outcome of this connection between Aquarius and their person? What's the outcome of the connection between Aquarius and their person? Okay, I think I had this also for Capricorn. What's the outcome here between Aquarius and their person? Okay, Ten of, ten of Wands and Death. So I feel like, so maybe you could be dealing with a Scorpio. For others of you, there's some sort of ending here, but an ending in a positive way. So someone has, for example, someone has been paying off their student loans and that's why they haven't been able to move in with you or combine finances or something like that, but that's gonna end or someone has been going through a very tough time and there's an, uh, an ending to that, to the feeling of burden, to the feeling of being weighted down, right? There's gonna be a transformation that's gonna take place here with Death Card, and it's a transformation of this energy of Ten of Wands. You know, something has to end for something new to come in. Can you see my cards? Let me move these over. So let's clarify with a different deck and see what this is all about. And just if you're curious, I have the three of wands, the bottom of the deck there again with the waiting. Someone's waiting for the right time. That's what I'm getting. Let me clarify these messages, spirit for Aquarius and their person. Hmm. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Aquarius and their person, present or future partner. The world and the fool when I was shuffling there. Yeah, definitely something new. A cycle is ending here. And I feel like I'm getting that for a lot of signs. Okay, one more. Hmm. So let's start clarifying. I'm not going to clarify the what's on their mind. I feel like this is very clear they're extremely attracted to you i mean this is crazy this is like off the charts attraction here so let's see how they view you with the knight of pentacles tell me more about this knight of pentacles for aquarius and their person present or future sorry what's going on with this knight of pentacles yeah, nine of pentacles. They see you as nine of pentacles energy, which is what I was getting with the other deck. You are someone that has it together, Aquarius. You have all your ducks in a row. You are financially stable. You don't need to think about anything or anyone. Eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. They know this. I feel like that. that's why they're taking their time, their sweet time. And look what's under there. Eight of swords and death, again. I feel like there's there has to be a transformation here with this energy of Eight of Swords. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles. 
I feel like they're, they're just worried and thinking, you know, I don't have what they have or how can I measure up? Justice here with the nine of pentacles. They see you as someone serious, someone balanced. You don't take crap from anybody with justice here. Okay, so let's look at how they feel about the connection with the seven of swords and the eight of swords. Why? There's a seven of swords and the eight of swords here, spirit for Aquarius and their present or future partner. This is how they feel about the connection. Seven of pentacles, three of wands. Again, three of wands. This person is waiting. They're waiting because they don't know how to approach you. But they want to grow something. I feel that very strongly. They feel like this is a very strong connection. I feel like with the four of cups under the deck, they don't want to miss out on this opportunity. I feel like it's their, their mental, it's like a mental block for them. Tell me about the hangman. This is what is blocking or challenging the connection. Why's the hangman here, spirit? For Aquarius, their connection. It's blocking this connection between Aquarius and their person. Six of Swords. Why the Six of Swords? Hmm. This person could be leaving another relationship. I just got that very strongly with the Ten of Wands, Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. This person is moving towards something here with the Six of Swords. Uh, I think the challenge or the block here too could be that this person has not decided to move forward. But they want to with the Knight of Cups. Maybe they're just moving too slow. Maybe they have to leave a connection they're in already. I have the moon under the, the deck here. Pisces energy. I have Libra and Scorpio energy at, on the table as well. But um, more, I'm just thinking that they just don't know. Like there's, there's something that they don't know. But you know what I'm not seeing? I'm not seeing communication. I see attraction i see interest i see connection but i don't see this person speaking about how they feel you know i'm waiting for like an ace of swords or an eight of wands give me some you know what i get instead is the nine of swords again this person's in their head about this they want to make this offer really badly though the, the intention is there the feelings are there have the lovers under the deck Okay, so tell me more about uh, death and the Ten of Wands and the outcome. Tell me more about death and the Ten of Wands. This is the possible outcome. Remember, you can um, you can change a situation if you don't like it. We have we all have free will. Chariot, sign of Cancer. There is movement here. There is moving forward. Someone could be literally like. With the Six of Swords, they could be distant from you and they're moving towards you. Um, others of you, there's someone literally making a move to live closer and others of you, they just want to move forward. They want victory here with the Chariot. They're really thinking and almost thinking too much about how to make this happen is what I'm getting. They are stressed. Maybe they're stressed because they're in a connection right now. I have the Hierophant under the deck. They could be married or in long-term commitment. Tell me more about the chariot for Aquarius and their person. Tell me more about the chariot, please. <laughs> Interesting. The devil and the lovers. I feel like this is a very hot connection. Hot and heavy is what I'm getting. Attempting connection. But it's real. I mean, we got three major, four major arcanas in the future outcome position. 
This person is obsessed almost about making this happen, about succeeding, about, about winning you, Aquarius. You're all they think about, like I said. They're thinking about growing something with you, having this soulmate type connection, making this offer. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, it's an offer. An offer of love. Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Pentacles. This person is very serious, and behind that, Page of Wands. This person is very serious, so there's communication at least. Someone wanting to, you know, someone, but again, this is a page. It could be someone younger and experienced or just somebody that's, you know, starting a small, something small, you know, may, maybe they'll start with asking you out somewhere or telling you that you are super attractive or something like that. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Um, let me know if this resonated with you down in the comments. I love to hear what this situation is all about. Uh, subscribe if you like what I do. Thank you so much for checking on this video and I will see you guys in my next one.